We are living in such a crazy shifting world right now. High inflation, recession, and so much uncertainty. I'll be honest, it does not matter what your political beliefs are. Nobody is coming to save you. But here's what's incredibly weird about what's going on right now. Some people don't even know it's a recession. Some people are taking private jets to Saint Tropez, while others are losing their jobs, battling with crippling high living costs, and stuck paycheck to paycheck. So what's the difference? Those people on the private jets to Saint Tropez, they've figured out a very simple yet very unknown way to make money even when the economy is going down. In this video, I want to introduce to you the best business opportunity for 2023. Look, this is not some BS passive income in five minutes spiel that you see online. If you know anything about me and the message I share, this is not that. This is about making it real. But first, credit where credit is due. I want to thank you for showing up. Some people talk about it, but you're about it because you're here. So I'm sitting before you today in an era where I get paid thousands for a simple phone call. Yet if you go to my Instagram, you won't see me flashing any Lambo, no Rolexes, and no bottles at the club. And that's simply because I know what it's like to not have anything. I won't get into my story right now. More on that later on. So in order for you to be able to pick what business model is the best for you, we need to pick some of the most popular business models and we need to compare those business models within four categories. We're going to look at dropshipping, affiliate marketing, selling courses, and CMA. We're going to compare those business models in the following four categories. The level of experience needed to get started, the value proposition of the business, aka the problem you're solving, the cost structure, are there high startup costs, what are the profit margins like, etc. And finally, is the success repeatable? So let's first look at dropshipping. In the current climate, do you need experience to have success with dropshipping? From the experience I have had running multiple dropshipping stores over the last five to six years, unfortunately, this is a big yes. You definitely need experience right now for you to actually see results. Before you could sell really simple products, have a really basic Shopify website, you could buy shout outs from Instagram pages and run Facebook ads very cheaply, and you could make money without any experience. But right now, you do need experience, so if you're a beginner, this may not be for you. Next up, let's look at the value proposition. AK the problem that you're solving for your customers. When you're selling a dropshipping product, there's not much value that you provide. You could be selling a product such as a blender for someone to make smoothies on the go. And yes, that adds a lot of value to someone's life, but only if the product is good quality. Nine times out of 10, dropshipping products are really, really bad quality. It can also take anywhere from three to eight weeks for your product to arrive for your customer to use. This is gonna piss them off. So what about costs? Is it expensive to start a dropshipping store? And what are the profit margins like? From my experience of running multiple dropshipping stores and from my buddies who have had dropshipping stores that have made anywhere from six to seven figures, I know that the average profit margin for a dropshipping store is anywhere from 20 to 30%. And sometimes it's even lower. This to me is a really, really bad sign. If your profit margin is 20% to make 10K a month, you need to sell 50K worth of products. And is the success that you might experience with a dropshipping store repeatable? And is this business going to last you not just for one month, but for one year or even longer. Nine times out of 10, the answer is no. Dropshipping businesses are typically founded on a trend, either a trending product or something that is very, very seasonal. For example, if you're selling Christmas jumpers, those are seasonal and eventually that will die out after the Christmas season is over. With all the stores that I've run in the past, it's been very difficult to run a store for longer than six to nine months. And what tends to happen is that the business goes like this. You start it up and you make some money and then you hit your peak and it just goes off a cliff. And this typically happens well within one year. Next, we're gonna look at affiliate marketing. Do you need experience to start affiliate marketing? The answer for this one is yes and no. Right now, there's a lot of people that are starting affiliate marketing businesses on TikTok. And while having experience would help them get better results, they can actually start a TikTok page and make money pretty early on. Let me give you an example. You start a TikTok account all about money. You talk about how to make money, how to save money, and anything that's basically in the finance or investing world. You get yourself 10K followers. You're thinking this is awesome. And the easiest way for you to make money would be to just sell a course or a digital product for somebody else. So you don't have to put in the hard work of making it. Somebody else makes it and then you sell it and you get a commission. And typically, if you sell a digital product, you probably get a good commission, maybe even 50%. If you sell a product for $100, you make 50 for every sale. But if you're a complete brand new beginner, learning how to get to 10K followers and then to convert those followers into customers who actually buy this product is very, very difficult. I know a guy that has 400,000 followers on TikTok and he posts all about money and finance, yet he struggles to make even 10K a month. So if he's making 10K a month with 400K followers, for you to make even 1K a month, you probably need to get 40,000 followers. Next up, value. Is what you're selling as an affiliate marketer actually valuable? And will your customers buy from you again? Typically, no. Because you're selling somebody else's product, there's not really a whole lot of trust. They think they're potentially buying from you. And when they access the program, the course or the product, they find it's somebody else's face. So naturally, this is going to leave a lot of people a little bit unhappy. And because someone is going to be unhappy, there's a high chance they may want a refund. You don't want refunds. Refunds are the worst part of any business. So a business that has a chance for high 
refunds, I would avoid. So what about costs? Is it expensive to start an affiliate marketing business? Again, this answer is also yes and no. If you do exactly what I said above and you were to start a TikTok affiliate marketing page, that's not going to cost you much money. It's just going to cost you a lot of time for you to create content and do the work. But as I mentioned, it's not actually that easy. And I know so many people that have personally tried to do exactly what I've just explained to you. They've tried to learn how to create content to gain 10,000 to even 100,000 followers. But most times they get to about a thousand and then they cap and they can't go any further. They've hit their ceiling. So in this case, the only option is to now start running advertisements because you don't know how to grow your page organically and you can't get a lot of followers, which means you're not making any money. So the only, other, the only other option is to run ads on Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, or Instagram. And this is where things get messy. Running ads is extremely expensive and definitely not for beginners. Now, is the success repeatable? Oftentimes the success is not repeatable and I'll tell you exactly why. If you were to start a TikTok affiliate marketing page. And let's say you see some success and you get yourself 100,000 followers. At this stage, you should be making some money. If you're not making money with 100,000 followers, you're probably not selling your products or your services very well. Now, this is where it can get very, very annoying. There's a high chance that TikTok and your page start to go down or you stop growing. And this happens to so many people that rely on TikTok for their business. If this happens to you, your 100,000 followers will stay the same. You don't go up and you don't really go down you stay here. But now your views are also going down. You're not getting as many views on your videos. And in turn, so do your sales. Your sales go right down as well. So this strategy may work for anywhere from maybe even three to four months. And this is if you are very good and you can get 100,000 followers. That's quite difficult to do. But after the three, four month mark, things tend to go sour. Now we're going to look at selling courses. Most people assume that if you sell a course, you will just make a load of money really quickly. And most people tend to have a very negative view of people that sell courses. Now selling courses is very similar to affiliate marketing. Marketing. Because to sell courses and to sell products for somebody else with affiliate marketing, you need traffic. And how most people do that is through TikTok, YouTube, and ads. Ads cost money, YouTube and TikTok are free, but it's not easy to create videos and go viral. Most people spend years perfecting that. So we've already looked at affiliate marketing, the problems that come with this model. If you rely on TikTok, your business will probably fail eventually. If you're doing YouTube, it's just really, really hard to do. So it's going to take you a long time to see success. If you're doing ads, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So we've already seen that there's really a lot of problems with this model. But what's different between selling courses and affiliate marketing is that when you sell courses, you also have to do other work. You actually have to build the courses. You've got to set up your own websites and payment processors. You need to have your own refund policy. And there's a whole list of 10 to 20 other things that I won't include here because we would be here all day. So just know that selling courses is actually very, very difficult and I'll tell you exactly why. So do you need experience to sell a course? Yes, you do. If you were to make a course and pretend that you know what you're talking about when you really don't, one, you're going to struggle to sell it because you don't actually understand the pain points of someone that's going through the transformation that the course should provide, but also people will find you out. People research it. And if you claim that you're making 10K a month with dropshipping and you're trying to sell a course, people will figure out if you're not very quickly. So do you need experience? Yes, you need lots and lots of experience. So selling a course is really only a fit for somebody that already has a lot of experience. So you got to have a lot of experience with business, with dating, with fitness, whatever it is that you have an expertise in. That comes from time. You don't get that experience or expertise from two or three months. To give you context, I run a mentorship program where we have a course, plus we offer live coaching to our students. I had been in the marketing world for years before I started this. And that's because I understood that I needed experience. Let's look at the value. Is the value that you're providing to someone with a course there? Does it exist and will they buy from you again? The answer here is, is yes. If you do this correctly, if you do this correctly, you can make someone very, very happy where they will buy from you again. I've experienced this in my own business and people that I work with, but it's only going to be valuable if you have the experience. So as we talked about, if you try and fake it till you make it and sell a course, even though you haven't done what you said you've done, people will find you out. They won't find value in what you're offering. And guess what? They'll want a refund. Is it costly to set up a course? It does cost money and it is not free by any means. You got to pay to host the videos. You got to pay to host your website. And again, there's a bunch of other costs that come with running a course. It's not as easy as set it up and sell something and it's all profit. It's not how it works. So is it costly? Yes. So if you're a beginner with not much money, this probably isn't going to work for you. And is the success repeatable? Yes, very repeatable. If you take somebody like Tony Robbins or Dean Graziosi in the mindset business space, those guys sell lots of courses and their success is very repeatable. They've been doing this for years. But again, the big, big problem for most of you is you need to have the experience to be able to do any of this. And the final business model that we're going to look at today is what I call CMA. This is a consulting marketing agency. Now, word of warning, I run a consulting marketing agency and I have made over $1 million with that business. We started in 2019 and I've been running this for three years. Here's exactly what we do. We get paid a monthly fee from business owners that need help with their social media and their marketing. They pay us anywhere from $500 to $3,000 per month. 
And I was able to scale this business to $50,000 per month in revenue. So do you need experience for you to start your own CMA business? Quite frankly, you don't. I've worked with dozens of absolute beginners, people as young as 14, 15, and 16, and people as old as 55 to 60. People that have never heard of marketing before and people that know it from their everyday job. For example, one of my students, his name is Alvi. He's 17, he's from the UK, and he makes $4,300 per month. And this guy is still in school. So he's doing this with a couple hours per day and he didn't have a bunch of experience. The guy is 17. So do you need experience to start this? Definitely not. Now, does experience help? Yes, it does. Let's take one of the other people I've worked with. Her name is Rachel. Rachel is in her late 20s. Rachel is from Ireland and she worked in a company doing their marketing for years as a nine to five employee. So when Rachel started her CMA business, she had an advantage. She knew how to deal with businesses. She knew how to send invoices and contracts. So I didn't have to teach her those things. And Rachel just recently hit the six figure mark. That's where she's making over 100K per year. So you don't need experience, but it does help. Value is what we're providing to business owners. What they're paying us for, actually valuable. 100% yes. As I showed you over here, we get paid what we call a monthly fee. What that means is businesses don't just pay us for one month, they pay us every month until they decide to maybe go elsewhere or pause the service. From my experience, the average number of months that a business will pay you is at least six months. I had one client that paid us over $20,000 and they worked with us for over 20 months. But there are some clients that will leave you after three or four months because there could be a problem in their business where they just can't afford your monthly fee anymore. So yes, this is valuable because people actually pay you every month. And that's because a consulting marketing agency will help a business make more money, but it will also save them time because they don't have to do marketing themselves because you'll do it for them. And if you don't know how to do it and you don't have experience, you can outsource the work. We'll talk about this more later on. Costs. Is it expensive to start up? No, it's really not. You can start a CMA business with no money. In fact, that $1 million business that I started, well, I started that with roughly 50 euro. That's pretty much $50. The only thing I bought was a website domain and, and I got myself this fancy looking email address. The reason I did this was because when, when I would email a business owner, I didn't want to email them from an at gmail.com email. Instead, I wanted it to be adam at businessname.com. It looks more professional and it established more trust with the business owners that I was engaging with. So no, it doesn't cost much money. You're looking at about 50 euro to get started. Now, is the success repeatable? Well, yes, I'm pretty much an example of this. I've been running my business for three years and I've had experience with all the businesses that we've talked about today. I've done drop shipping. I've sold courses and online products. I've done affiliate marketing and I've done this. I've done CMA. I've been running this for three years and we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. The reason this business model is so repeatable and it lasts so long for people is because of what we just discussed. When you're consulting a business, telling them how to use social media, because look, they could be a boomer, right? They could be super old. They could be 50, 60. They don't know how to use social media or how to do much marketing. So your advice as someone who's probably a lot younger will go a very, very long way to them. And they'll be very happy to pay for that advice. And then when you come in and say, hey, that's how you do it, but I can also do all of this for you and then save you a bunch of time while also making you a ton of money because we're going to market your business on social media and that's going to get new followers and sales for your business. They're going to be a very happy client. So you can see that these business owners, when you do this correctly, stay with you for a very long time. And this success is very repeatable. So from this breakdown, it's pretty clear to me which business is the best for you if you're a complete beginner. Now, this is just a video, so I don't know you personally. So if you have a ton of experience, you've marketed online before, or you have an expertise that someone would pay you a lot of money for, then some of the other business models we've looked at might be the best for you. But if you're a beginner who doesn't have a lot of money and you don't really know where to start, you don't have experience, and you've never sold anything before online, I would start with CMA. This genuinely has the best likelihood of you succeeding. You get the most real life business experience from this business. There are almost no startup costs. The margins are amazing. And as we've looked at, the success is repeatable. But look, I've built a $1 million CMA business. So I am a little biased. But as I have explained to you today, I do have experience with every business model that we've looked at. And I've made money with each one. So a CMA business, a consulting marketing agency, what exactly is it? It's almost like a hybrid car. First, you have the petrol or fuel part of the engine. This is where you offer a done for you service to a business. This is where you save them time and you help them make more money online through social media marketing. Then you have this second part of the business. This is the electric part of the engine of the hybrid car. This is where you offer consulting and advice to business owners. You do this via one-to-one -one Zoom calls and check-ins with your clients. This helps them understand what else they need to do to grow their business on top of what you're doing for them. You're working together as a team where you save them time 
and also tell them what else they need to do. You could be advising them on how to get a better website or how they could hire someone to take photos and videos of their products or of their warehouse or of their restaurant, which you can then use in the social media marketing, working together as a team. So to do this effectively, you need to know about social media marketing. So what is social media marketing and why is everybody talking about it? Well, more and more businesses are moving online and there are over 100,000 new businesses started every single day. And what's one thing all new businesses need? Customers. And how do we get them customers? Through social media marketing. Many business owners have absolutely no idea how to use social media or how to run Facebook or, or how to run ads with Facebook or Google or how to do email marketing. And they especially don't know how to do this effectively to get more followers and more customers. And those that do know about this simply don't have the time to do it themselves. They're busy running their business. That's where you come in. Business owners will pay you for these services. Social media management, where you manage their social media page. Content creation, where you create videos or graphics for their page. Email marketing, where you write emails that they send to their email list to sell more products and keep their customers happy. Facebook, Google, TikTok, or Snapchat ads. Search engine optimization, and so much more. I could list off 40 plus services for you here. The list is endless. And if you don't have any experience and you don't know how to do these services, you can get other people to do the work. There are thousands of freelancers looking for long-term consistent work on platforms such as Upwork.com. And many of these freelancers, they get scrappy $40 projects here and there, and they have no consistent income. And they would absolutely love to have consistent income. You can hire talented freelancers that will do almost anything from as little as $3 per hour. And look, this is a good wage in certain Eastern countries. If you take this route, I know exactly what you're thinking. What about quality control? What if the freelancer just doesn't do the right job? What if the freelancer goes directly to the business that you found and they steal your clients? Or won't the client think that you're supposed to do all the work? I get it. And these are all valid concerns, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do almost everything on this planet. And how I built my million dollar CMA business was of course doing things the right way. I have over 20 freelancers on my team. So I know how to hire the right people, how to make sure they don't steal my clients and how to make sure my clients are actually happy with the work so that we keep making money and they keep paying us every month. But look, for now, you just need to understand that this is the best opportunity for 2023 and beyond. If you do this correctly, business owners will pay you to save them time, make them more money, or ideally both. Look, I'll be honest. I graduated college at age 21 and I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I applied for job placements at big corporations and got denied by every single one. And I had tried so many of the side hustles that we've discussed in this video today, but I hadn't started a CMA business just yet. Now, later that year in 2019, I decided I would start. Enough was enough. I saw people making money with this and I even knew people that had been running their own CMA businesses for years. And I tell you, I am so glad I started. I mean, once I started, it absolutely took off. We signed our first client in late 2019, in late November 2019. And within two months later, we're making well over $10,000 per month in recurring revenue. Literally one year after that point, we then scaled to $50,000 per month. And right now, three years later, that business runs 95% by itself because of the systems I've built and the team members I've hired and put in place to run that for me. Now, when someone builds a business, I'm always impressed, but I'm always even more impressed when they can replicate that success with people that they've coached or consulted with. So to show you that what I'm about to show you is replicable, here are some results. So how on earth do you get results just like this? Like Pavel, who made $6,500 in one week and now makes between 10 to 20K per month. You'll see that's him with a little award. That's him right there with his own personalized award that I sent to him. Or Sam, who signed a 12,000 euro social media marketing client and now makes over 5,000 euro per month. Or Leah, who's making over 9,000 euro per month offering social media marketing and consulting. Or David, who makes $3,300 after just one month of working with me and my team. Check out the screenshot on the right. David's now making way more than he did in his nine to five in just four weeks. Or Rosario, who's making over 7,000 euro per month and gets to travel multiple times every single year. Or my student Dylan, who's making 2,500 euro per month while working one hour a day because he's in college full time. So here's my guarantee to you. You will sign at least three clients in 90 days or I'll mentor you for free until you do. And I'll guarantee that you'll be making between $1,500 per month to $5,000 per month in the first 90 days. Look, here's why most courses suck. You get basic videos and information. You then have doubts and questions. There's nobody there to help you and answer you. So then you lose motivation. You stop trying and you ultimately fail. Here's how I fix this catastrophic industry-wide problem so that my students don't ever face this. And so they get results like you've previously seen. I give my students access to two live coaching calls every single week. That's over 100 live coaching calls every single year. All these calls are recorded and timestamped so you can watch them later on in case you miss them each week. We also offer daily one-to-one -one support to our students in their own private Telegram group. This is a private place for just you, me, and my team. That's it. And we respond to you every single day, Monday to Friday. One of our students, Kira, just recently joined us and you can see exactly what she thought about this. She said she cannot believe the time and effort that is put into the coaching. Adam himself gives so much time to the coaching, which is insane as he runs such a large business. You feel truly valued in this course and like your success personally matters to Adam and his team. On top of that, you get daily one-to-one -one support in our group Telegram chat. So not only will you be in a group chat with just me and my team, with nobody else, and that's your private space, you'll also be in a second 
chat with our other students. And our students can also help you out. We have dozens of students who are making five to 20K per month and love helping each other out. And last but not least, you'll also get a one-to-one -one strategy call with me and my team if you decide to work with us. This is a private one-to-one -one call to keep you on track and to make sure that you are making at least 1.5 to 5K every single month in your first 